Good morning guys, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's Colin Mottman again and I'm back with another video today and I'm returning to the theme of the Scottish words and phrases we did about three months ago on this channel. If you don't remember what we did that day, there's a link or there should be a link which appears above my head somewhere, I, I don't really know, if you want to see the stuff we did before. Now today, the reason I return to this is because I want to give you a little bit of an insight into how we speak in my country. English is the number one language in Scotland and it's something to remember, but we have our own dialect and it's special to us. We use it every day and that's why I think that today the phrases and words I'm going to teach you will be useful when you go to Scotland. I mean, you don't want to be standing there thinking, what's this nutter saying? What's this guy saying? So I brought my friend along again, this little guy. Doesn't really focus on his face because he's not the, the, the main attraction he should be. And the Scottish language has its own grammar, its own vocabulary, its own pronunciation. That, I mean, that part's obvious. And it's really interesting. I've been doing a, a, a little bit of research recently and I found out a lot of different stuff about the Scottish language. I find it really interesting. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And I mean, I can, I can certainly explain more and go into more details in the future. But as for today, 10 phrases, 10 words, sit back, relax, grab a coffee, and let's learn some Scottish. The first one we have on our list today was recently voted the most iconic word in the Scottish English language, let's say. And that is dreech. I actually agree with this a little bit because it's a word we use often. Now, the picture, or the, the following picture I show you is a prime example of how we use the word dreech. You wake up one morning, you look out the window, the sky is grey, it's teeming with rain. Oh, it's raining very he heavily, that's another Scottish word there, teeming. We always complain in Scotland about the weather, don't we? Because it's the worst weather in Europe, I, I would say. And dreech weather, boring, grey, raining really heavily, you can't go out, it's too rainy, it's dreech. Now, number two on our list today is, in English, most people say, let's go to the cinema. In Scotland, we say, let's go to the pictures. What? What do you mean? Let's go to the pictures simply means let's go to the cinema. We call the cinema the pictures. I don't really say it anymore uh, because I've lived in different countries since, uh, since I was in Scotland, but really, it's really common and I used to say it all the time, let's go to the pictures. What's on at the pictures? Have you seen any good movies at the pictures recently? It's an amazing word. Use it and you'll really impress native speakers in Scotland. If you have a brother or a sister, this one will relate to you perfectly. And for people in Scotland, this is something that we use, again, all the time. The, the phrases we do today or learn are phrases we use all the time. Now, remember when you were younger and, for example, let's say you or your brother, let's say your brother used to pull your hair or he hit you or he, he did something, he punched you, he tickled you, I, I don't know, whatever. What would you do? You would go to your mum and you would tell on him. That's the official way we would say it. But in Scotland, we would say, clipe on him. Clipe. He's a clipe. He's a clipe. I used to do bad things to him. No, I never, I never. So when you do something to your brother or sister, especially when you're younger, the brother and sister go to the mum or the dad and they clipe, yeah? They say, oh, Colin hit me, Colin was pulling my hair, Colin was kicking me. He's clipping, yeah? Telling tales. And this is really common. Now, the, the person can also be, like in the noun form, can be a clipe. He's a clipe, she's a clipe. Now, in Scotland, it's not uncommon to see people going on nights out in winter, in minus 10 conditions, without a jacket. Now, in Scotland, if we're with that person, the first thing we would say is, you're off your head. Now, what does you're off your head mean? It literally translated, or in English form, it would be, you're off your head. I think they use it down south in England, I'm not really sure. And it just means you're crazy. Imagine this guy, he's going on a night out, minus 10 degrees, no jacket, he's off his head. I used to do this. I used to go out on nights out without a jacket because why do you wear a jacket on a night out? You're inside the whole time, except when you walk from bar to bar, but... Anyway, and in Scotland, a lot of people are after heat, especially when they drink. So, paying £3,000 for a TV, you're after heat. The next one is common mostly in the town I'm from, or the area around about, and that's Falkirk. I'll show you a quick map. And we say, instead of, I don't know, which is the, the English form, the way that proper people speak, in Falkirk and in many parts of Scotland, or especially around the central area, we say, I don't ken. What are you doing at the weekend? I don't again. What are you doing next week? I don't again. Are you enjoying your job? I don't again. <laughs> it just simply means I don't know. I don't again. And the positive form would be I can. I know. So 
I think that's quite useful and you will hear it in Falkirk, I promise you will hear it, although there's not really much reason to go to Falkirk so beware of that. The next on our list today is Boke, the book. Boke just means to <coughs> gag or vomit. So when you see something disgusting you you gag, yeah? Those hospital programs you see on the TV when they cut the people open, yeah? A lot of people can't handle that kind of situation so they, they gag, they, they book. And in Scotland it's a really common phrase. We can also say when something is disgusting that it gives you the book. Gives you the book. It gives you the book. It makes you vomit, it makes you gag, yeah? Even if we don't like some foods, for example, we use the book. <coughs> Mushrooms, give me the book. I think they're disgusting, it's like eating snails. It gives me the book, so ugh, just, it's a good one. You'll hear this all the time in Scotland. Loads of different things can gear the book. Things that are disgusting, things that are not really nice. The next one on our list is bra. Today is not a bra day where I am. It's raining, it's grey, it's, it's kind of drich. But I can see the sun somewhere in the sky, so it's not so bad. Edinburgh's bra, and bra just means nice or good. This food is bra. I, mean, I enjoy my meal. It's bra. The food is bra. The steak is bra. The highlands are bra. If you've ever been to the highlands, you'll know that it's a really bra place. Bra can also mean like bonnie, which I explained in my previous video. And just to mean like nice, nice looking, yeah? She's bra. Oh, what a bra lassie. What a nice girl, yeah? Now, the next one, guys, today is the word greet. Now, greet in English, in normal English, standard English, is when you... When you meet someone, when I greet him, we would shake hands, yeah? We would say hello, that's a greeting, yeah? We greet each other. In Scotland, greet means <laughs> cry. It's a strange word, but again, it's highly, highly used. Greet, Denny greet, don't cry. Wayne's greet, children greet. It simply means to cry, so if ever you're having a bad day, Denny greet, just, just get on with it. Number nine on our list today is quite a funny one. These things here, I'm sorry, I have to show you these. These are called armpits in English. In standard English, they're called armpits. In Scottish, they're called oaksters. <laughs> and I find this word really funny. I don't know why, it's just, ugh, really, I have nostalgia thinking about this kind of word or these kind of words. You know, oh, you stink, you need to clean your oaksters, <laughs> not clean your armpits. You need to clean your oaksters, it's such a typical Scottish thing to say. So armpits in English, standard English, in Scottish, oaksters. And finally today guys, the last one we have on our list is the standard English word would be child, America would be kid, in Scotland it's Wayne. Now there's a couple of ways to spell it, I'll show you on screen like I have done with all the other words and you can choose which one you want, there's no real official way of spelling it. I would spell it W-E-A-N and it's and it's a kid. Also, in my town, in Falkirk, the place I showed you previously, we call Wayne's children, we call them Bairns, a Bairn. And shout out to Falkirk Football Club, we're fans of Falkirk Football Club because their club is nicknamed after this word, they're called the Bairns. No idea the history behind it, but that's what it is. So a kid, a child is a burn. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you got some useful expressions and words you can use on your next trip to Scotland. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing as well. Share it with your friends. Let's, let's, let's spread the Scottish language around the world. Keep watching for more content. There should be some grammar stuff coming soon. Maybe more Scottish stuff. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. Have a nice weekend. Have a great week and until the next video, we'll see you soon. Cheers guys, see ya.